Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I am going to show you all of the organization systems that I have kind of throughout the main areas of my home. Um, some of them are working really well. Some of them need a little bit of help, um, but this is very, I feel like it's a very realistic look of how you can organize throughout your own home. None of these areas are like Pinterest worthy by any means. And like I said, some of them need a little bit of work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the organization that I have throughout my own home. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start up here in my living room. There's not a whole lot of storage space in my living room at all, but our TV stand is one place that I can actually store things. So first here is like the controllers for our Nintendo Switch, and there's quite a few of them. You can see our Nintendo Switch is there behind the TV. So I just keep all of the controllers right here in this basket so my kids can reach them pretty easily. Um, and these two drawers right here actually hold at least half of our board games. Um, I'd really like to get something to where I can keep them all together. Um, so some of them are here in this drawer with our cards and all of that. And then here on the left, I got these zipper pouches off of Amazon to keep most of our board games. And it just keeps all those big bulky boxes from you know, being in the way because they can really just take up so much space. Um, and then here in this last drawer, we have our Oculus there charging and then I have um, all of our DVDs that I wanted to keep here in this small case. So I just consolidated all of that and I've got some um, Xbox games, an iPad, and then a little bin for all of our Xbox controllers and then of course our Oculus handsets. And over here is our coat closet and really I would love to turn this into something else as opposed to just housing all of our coats because down here in Georgia we just don't use them that often. So up here I've got extra pillows, um, like jugs up there and then that bin has our hats and gloves, of course all of our coats and then down here we have more board games, um, that box we use for puzzles there on the right and like I said I would really just love to do something else with the space maybe turn it into a cleaning closet I've considered trying to turn it into a pantry since we don't have one um, but I just haven't quite gotten there yet so that will be something that I may or may not be working on this summer So here in our kitchen, I will just show you kind of all the cabinets and drawers um, one by one just to show you where I keep things. So this first cabinet here, I like to keep our cups because it's right there next to the refrigerator. And then at the top, I have smaller appliances like a waffle maker, um, a food processor, um, hand mixer, and like our can opener. Um, and then here is our plates and bowls. And then up at the top. I have a big thing of aluminum foil, our cheese grater, and then I also have um, like the instruction manuals that go to a lot of our appliances. I like to keep that up there on hand just in case we ever need them, which I haven't, <laughs> haven't yet. Um, and then here is an area that I was talking about that really just needs, I need to do something with it. This is where I keep like our to-go containers or Tupperware containers. I really have no clue what to do. I have tried so many different things. I've considered just buying like a stackable sets. I just have not wanted to spend the money when we have things that work, but clearly organizationally it's just not really working out for us. So um, This area is sort of like my baking and spice area in a way, so obviously I have flour, sugar, powdered sugar, all that good stuff for baking, um, and then chia seeds, chocolate chips, and up here at the top is like the muffin pan liners and sprinkles, stuff for cookies, and then extra um, measuring cups and all of that. And here above the microwave, um, there are some things in here that I need to move that don't belong there. Um, but mostly I have, this is for um, when I'm doing some baking, like rolling things out. Um, that does not belong there, I need to move that actually. And then like cooking oils and things like that are up here, um, potato peeler. And then this actually is like utensils for the kitchen that I don't use a whole lot. And then those two things back there, those don't belong there and I need to put them where they do belong. So we have a handle that's missing. <laughs> um, and the, this is sort of like snacks and cereal, obviously. Um, crystal lights. So we haven't gone grocery shopping, so everything's a little bit bare. And then up at the top is where I keep a lot of our pastas, like 
um, spaghetti and all of that good stuff. So this used to look a little bit different not that long ago. I really don't like these corner cabinets. They're just so awkward and things get lost very easily, but I have this Lazy Susan for cooking stuff and then I try to keep everything to where I can actually see it just so I know what I have. But this is just random stuff that I use for meals. Like if I'm gonna be making something a specific week, I'll keep it up here. And then that's really all that there is to that. This cabinet has all of our coffee mugs um, that I've collected over many, many years. And then at the top is just like a million cans of Skyline Chili <laughs> that my dad brought me and some extra like organizational and decorative type things. And then this right here is our medicine cabinet. Um, it also has my cookbooks. Um, these medicine bins really need to be reorganized. They at one time did have labels, but they've fallen off since then. And then at the top is just a bunch of stuff that I don't really want to get rid of, but I also don't really know what to do with at the moment. So I had to get a chair <laughs> to stand up here to show you what's in here. Um, so this is just like extras that I don't want to just keep with the rest of the stuff just because it takes up so much space. So I keep it up here. And then this is like a random pot and then some um, miscellaneous party supplies. We don't do a lot of parties, but if we did, we have some supplies here. At one time, this was our junk drawer, but I've organized it a bit. So we have like a bunch of pins, extra scissors, and um, plastic forks and all that. Uh, plastic bags, reusable straws, batteries, and then I think that's parchment paper back there. So it's somewhat organized. We know where to find that kind of stuff. So down here is like lunch boxes, our frying pans. Um, that's a wok there at the top left. And then that actually pulls out. I. It, it was here when we moved in and I've never really liked it, but it's there. So <laughs> that's what I use that for. Um, and then this drawer is like silverware and then kitchen utensils that I tend to use a lot. And in the back is knives that I um, don't use a ton, but I didn't want to get rid of. So they're back there. And so this is my pots a little um, back in the back is like larger Tupperware that I doesn't fit up with the rest of them. There's a popcorn bucket back there actually and then some like a glass bakeware. So I did a video on this drawer. It's my spice drawer and so I'll find that and link it for you if you're interested and I just purchased these off Amazon and I love them so much. I love the way that this turned out um, but I kept the labels just in case um, I decided to get rid of something or got something new I could replace it and then there's miscellaneous extras as well but that turned out really well and I love it so this is like our blind cabinet so down here I just keep a lot of our larger appliances I've got my air fryer blenders rice maker griddle and crock pot and of course our Nutribullet are down here here I have pot holders that really need to be replaced they are not in good shape um, in the back, I've got some koozies that we almost never year use, but I don't want to get rid of them, so they're just kind of stuck back there. Um, and then down below that is um, our dog food and dog treats, and so that's pretty simple. And then this has changed over the years to house different things. At the top, I've got like extra um, serving ware and all that, and then down at the bottom is all of our extra water bottles and stuff. I wanted to keep them in a place that was easy to access for our kids. Um, because they use them so much and they tend to fall over a lot, but in general, it's a pretty good place to keep those things. So this top drawer is perfect for like all of my cleaning cloths and rags and all of that. They fit perfectly in there. Um, below that, I keep all of my dish towels. Um, and so that's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Um, and then this bottom drawer is just kind of like extra sink stuff. So I've got like a sink stopper, um, a drying rack, and those don't really belong there. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Just stuff that I need for my sink pretty much. Um, and then a long time ago, I did a video, I think, about um, organizing below here. So I'll just kind of quickly go through what everything is and why it's there. So um, that's sponges, and it looks like I'm running low, so I need to get some more. Um, I've got this Lazy Susan for cleaners that I use really often. I like to keep those within easy reach. Um, this little tray, I have 
uh, for my sponges like if they're a little bit wet I wanted to put them somewhere that I could easily clean that's dog stuff in that little caddy and then in the back is cleaning supplies I don't use oh, super often um, and then I keep my dishwasher pods in that little container and we're running low obviously and then uh, my drying I, what is that a drying pad I guess um, it stays in here and then that bin is for like extra plastic bags when I have them So this actually holds a lot of food. Um, this is sort of the coffee and tea drawer. So pretty simple there. And then this is snacks. Since we don't have a pantry, I really had to get kind of creative on where we keep all of our food. So this is sort of a snack drawer. Like I said, we haven't been to the grocery store. Um, so everything's a little bit bare, but that's what that is. Um, so this is actually all of our canned food. Um, and it, all of this actually used to be up in that corner cabinet right there, but it was just really complicated to keep it there. I couldn't ever see what I had. So I decided to move it to this drawer and I was able to kind of organize it based on type of canned good that it is. And it's working out pretty well. Um, this actually has now become our junk drawer. It was at one time organized, but has gotten a little bit unorganized as you can see so that is a project that I need to work on but I like to keep our trash bags here tools and obviously a bunch of other random stuff <laughs> so many years ago we bought well it feels like many years ago we bought a big bag of rice <laughs> from Costco so we keep it in that drawer because it doesn't fit anywhere else um, this drawer has our Christmas dishes that's actually like a butterfly caterpillar habitat that um, my dad got my daughter during a uh, COVID lockdown for something to do. So we raised caterpillars and sent them off to be butterflies. So that was kind of fun. Um, over here, this is kind of turned into like a mini junk drawer. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Really a lot of it needs to, I need to get rid of, but it's like random cords. It looks like some paint is in there. Just a bunch of stuff we don't really need. So that needs to be taken care of pretty soon. And then down here is where, and you're gonna be shocked maybe, but this is where I keep all of my wax melts. I've got some essential oils and all of my candles. I have a friend that makes candles and wax melts. Um, and so I have a ton of them, obviously. It may not look like it, but I promise it's organized. I did a video on it a while back and I'll have that linked, but yes, I have a ton of that stuff. Right through here is our laundry room and it's um, not very glamorous. <laughs> There's a basket of towels I need to fold, obviously. Um, but I'll show you how I have it organized. So I have um, my stick vacuum over here charging. This I keep like dirty uh, cleaning cloths in so it doesn't mix in with my clothes and all of that. So up here is just like dish, or not dish detergent, laundry detergent. Um, all the things I use pretty much on a daily basis. This has um, like floor cleaners in it. There's my Bissell steam shot. Um, and this bin over here has like ra old rags in it and my iron, which I almost never use, but that's where I keep it kind of out of the way. Um, so the, this rack has my broom, dust pans, my little duster. That bag I think has Bissell Steam Shot attachments. That's where I throw my lint after I clean out the dryer. And then those bags have like clean floor attachments. Um, this is reusable grocery bags, a couple of tote bags, my carpet cleaner, um, laundry baskets. My dog just pushed the door open. Um, and then this is just kind of more cleaning supply storage. It's stuff that I use sort of on a daily or weekly basis. And then a lot of extra um, Mrs. Meyers uh, cleaning solution. I love that stuff. So the last area I really want to show you today is my uh, linen closet in the hall, like the main hallway. So I've got extra paper towels here at the top, extra hand soap, all those towels that I need to fold go here. Um, and then I like to keep extra stuff like for guests or just even for us. So I have toothbrushes, I've got extra toothpaste, bar soap. I keep light bulbs in here and then the toilet paper so it's easy to get to. And then these are like easy access um, paper towels. And that's pretty simple and easy to organize. Mm -hmm. 
thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you were able to find a little bit of inspiration or encouragement or motivation in today's video to get some spaces in your home organized. Obviously, I have a little bit of work to do myself, so uh, maybe in a future video, I can show you how I get some of those spaces reorganized, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.